absolutely huge. You could have a party in the shower if you really wanted to. Um, I don't. Hey, sir. But you know what is open? The tourist shop. <laughs> and welcome back to my california vlog series so today is a travel day from san diego to las vegas and i will also show you a room tour of our hotel room at the bellagio so first up we stayed up at the hotel del coronado you can check out those videos on the california 2023 playlist and then we were heading from there all the way to las vegas which was around a five ish hour drive <music> And now we're at Eddie World. We did come here last year. It's pretty cool. It's very busy in here, actually. It's like a rest stop. There are clean, good toilets, which are great if you're coming between like Los Angeles and Las Vegas. And then also lots and lots of sweets and just kind of like road trip snacks, as you can see. Yeah, lots of Eddie World road trip snacks. Pretty much everything you can imagine. As well as like soft toys as well. Lots of toys and stuff as well. Um, it is, it's pretty cool here. Oh, we're in Nevada. And then as you head into Las Vegas, you go past these resorts here. These are the ones that are just on the outside. I do believe a couple of these actually aren't open anymore, kind of went down under during COVID, but you can still see them. So it's quite cool to see. So that one actually used to have a roller coaster. That one's called Buffalo Bills. And if you look at it there, it kind of looks like Big Thunder Mountain too. So that's Buffalo Bills. Yeah, we're not too far from Vegas now. So this year, again, we were staying at the Bellagio. We stayed there last year as well. It is a really nice hotel. However, the difference is this year is the front section of the hotel where the fountains are has been cut off because of Formula One. So if you didn't know, Formula One was in Las Vegas in November of 2023. And we went to Las Vegas in September. So they were setting up for Formula One. So a lot of things were closed. It wasn't as bad as people said. You know, obviously a lot of the strip had changed, but it definitely wasn't as bad as people had said. arrived in Las Vegas. So we arrived in Las Vegas just a few minutes ago. We checked into the hotel. We are staying at the Bellagio again. We did stay here last year and we loved it so much that we had to come back again this year. Um, another great room. So I'm going to show you the room and talk a little bit about Las Vegas and what we are planning to do while we're in Las Vegas. And let's go. So yes, this is the Bellagio room. We do not have a fountain view room. We definitely considered the fountain view room, but one of the reasons we decided not to do it is actually because we are coming September 2023. It's September 23rd, 24th today. And basically they are doing stuff to do with Formula One because Formula One is coming to Las Vegas. So they're doing lots of construction and stuff. And actually the Bellagio fountains, they're, they are building a stand for people to watch the Formula One race. So the view isn't as good as normal. So we were like, is it worth it? And we decided against it this time. But I think in the future, if we do come back to the Bellagio and it is all like normal again, because it won't be the Formula One, obviously, um, we would definitely consider that fountain view room because the fountains are really good. 
good. But right now, it's not as good as it usually is, simply because of that Formula One race, and that is obviously gonna impact our time a little bit here in Las Vegas, but we won't let it impact it too much. So let's go show you the room. So there you go, this is the room. So this is what it looks like. We have one lovely mirror here featuring today's outfit, which is just like one of my denim skirts and then a Warner Brothers t-shirt, which I got when I went to the Warner Brothers studios the other day. You can check that vlog out if you'd like to check it out. That'd be super cool. And here we have the bathroom. It is a very big bathroom, which is amazing. The last hotel we stayed at was the Hotel Del Coronado and the bathroom in there was a little bit small. I will admit it was, it was very small. There wasn't a lot of space. The shower itself was tiny. So it's very good that we have this because this is absolutely huge. You could have a party in the shower if you really wanted to. Um, I don't. And then we have the mirrors. So we've got his and hers sinks, basically. Um, the usual two mirrors. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Amazing bathroom, we love it. It's nice, and then we carry on through here. Do, 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 do. Um, you've got this, so you can actually control the blinds over here. So you can do the drapes. Oh, close. There you go, so the drapes will close if you press the button there. You can obviously also open them there. And then also for extra bit of privacy as well, you've got the sheer ones. So you've got the drapes, which are the curtains, and then you've got these sheer curtains as well. So you can have them fully closed, partially closed, anything. Pretty cool, I think. So we're gonna open them back up so I can show you outside. But I think that is pretty good. And there is a similar kind of control panel also next to the bed, which obviously makes a lot of sense. So there you go, so these are the beds. They've got lovely Bellagio pillows. So you can see that there. There is also a Bellagio shop here with amazing Bellagio things, which I will show you all later. And you've got a little Bellagio pen, a little Bellagio notepad, kind of the usual for like a hotel. And then you've got stuff here and yeah, the same thing here. This one looks a bit more modern actually to open the drapes and the sheer kind of curtain things. Lots and lots of pillows, pretty much all the pillows you could ever need. Good TV, lots of storage space. I'm gonna be very, very, very careful with this because basically there are lots of things in this fridge, but they will charge you. They will charge you. So if, um, where does it say it? It says it's somewhere basically that if you take things out, it's sensor activated. So basically if you take anything out for long enough, it will charge it to your room. You can then say, oh, it was an accident. I just kind of took it out and you can get that charge removed, but you definitely don't wanna like take something out and then it'd be like, oopsies because these are obviously really expensive and I think there is a price list somewhere I'll see if I can find that for you but yeah you've got everything you could ever pretty much need in here but yes do be aware that this one and then a lot of them are daily also so be aware that if you are staying in Las Vegas that a lot of the hotels have these really really impressive fridges with lots of things in but as normal with hotels it is really really expensive so just be careful if you're picking them up because you will get charged and then there's a bit of a faff to take off your room so there you go that is now closed <laughs> um and then just the usual just you know drawers that sort of thing lots of space and then this as well i don't know if these are sensor activated i don't think these are i think the fridge it fridge is but these isn't but i'm not going to risk it anyway because my parents will watch this vlog back and be like rachel this is why we got that extra charge in the room and I'll be like, yes, I know. But anyway, you can get shoes, chocolate truffles, all sorts with little Bellagio like fountains on, um, other stuff as well, Fiji water, and then glasses, you've got glasses there. Um, there was a price list last time. I'm gonna see if there's a price list this time because there definitely was last time. So you've got a little magazine. Let's see if we do have a price list. So you've got, um, this just says the events going on. I don't know where this price this was now. Let's see if we can find it. We're gonna still search. <laughs> I'll probably speed this up a little bit so you don't have to read all of this magazine. Oh, that looks interesting. Um, is there a price list? It's not looking like it, but all I know is the answer is expensive. So you've got Showbiz Weekly Listings. Lots and lots of stuff there. You can just see there is just so much stuff going on. Barry Manilow. Just to see if people I recognize the names. Luke Bryan, Lady Gaga, obviously you recognize Lady Gaga's name. Um, 
Yeah, Penn and Teller, David Copperfield. So a lot of these, we're actually, we're here on a Sunday. We're here like during the week, because basically last time when we came on a weekend, it was scary. Um, like obviously it's just a lot busier and stuff. So when you come during the week, it's a lot quieter, but some of the stuff isn't on. Like a lot of these shows actually aren't on, especially the residencies. But you you still see things, like things are still open, but things have different opening hours during the week. So do be aware of that if you come to Las Vegas during the week. But yeah, lots and lots of stuff. Oh yeah, there we go, Bellagio. So this is the stuff going on at the Bellagio. And then it says for the different like hotels and also has different restaurants as well, which I think is really handy just to have this. So this will just come, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't think this has a price listing in everybody. I feel like I've let you all down here. Um, but that's Las Vegas. Yep, there is no price listing in that. Eventually we'll find out the pricing. If I find it out ages later, I will put it in the description below. <laughs> there you go. So you've got a little table, a bin, the usual, another little table, a chair, all pretty much the usual things. But it is really nice, really roomy, uh, which is great. And it's just such a nice hotel. And this is the view from our hotel window. So you can see, let me point the Bellagio sign. The Cosmopolitan's just there, the other side of the Bellagio. This is actually the pool area down below, so you can see the pools, uh, which is really cool. I think they're open till six daily, and it's a really nice pool. And then there's like other things, just, yeah. It's a nice little view, and you can just see a bit more of Las Vegas there. And yeah, this is, this is the view from the roof. Oh, that's also the area over there. There you go. Um, but yeah, really good view. We have also seen, oh, I think that might be the pyramid, maybe. Over in the distance. But yeah, it's um, it's, it was a really fun drive. We did kind of the usual thing we did last time. I think we actually stopped the less this time. We just kind of wanted to get here. Last time we went to Alien Fresh Jerky and the world's tallest thermometer, whereas this time like we could see it from the road, but we didn't actually stop at the world's tallest thermometer. Um, we also went to like an outlet shop as well, um, just to see what was there. I went to Panera for lunch which was nice. We didn't actually go in any of the shops because again, we just kind of wanted to get here. And then we stopped off at Target. There was a Target just outside of Vegas. So just before we got into Vegas was Target. We went in there. It was a good big Target. There is a Target here actually. There is a Target here at, like on the strip in Vegas. But obviously it's a lot smaller. So we decided to go to like the bigger one just to get like kind of essentials for like in the room and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's been a decent drive here to Vegas. It is a little bit of a distance. It was about five hours from San Diego to Las Vegas. But Honestly, you can entertain yourself. There are lots of things kind of to look at. A lot of the time, like it does get a bit repetitive. There's a lot of just like desert, but as someone who does not live in the desert at home, it's still quite entertaining. Um, so yeah, it's been fun. We're gonna go have tea somewhere tonight, probably do a little bit of shopping, and then we're gonna explore Las Vegas for a few days. And I'm really excited for it because Las Vegas is really fun. And the Bellagio itself is really nice as well. So I'll show you a bit more of the hotel and the casinos and stuff. Also for reference, for anyone who's watching this who doesn't know me, I am 23 years old. Um, obviously to be in the casinos and stuff, you have to be 21, but I am 23. So um, yes, I am 23. Please be aware of that <laughs> before you watch this and think, oh, no, I'm 23. Um, so yeah. And now we're heading into Caesars Palace. So we're just here in Las Vegas. We've just checked into the Bellagio and now we're having a little bit of wonder and also the weather is so nice here it's nice and warm because it's been a little bit cool in the evenings like in san diego and stuff so it's nice that it's warm here i mean look at this also low-key when you get further around here it looks like the trapper center in manchester which is really weird <laughs> yeah and they've got a full caesar's palace shop as well hey hello sir hello hello so we just had our evening meal at Trevi at Caesars Palace and now we are just going to look around the shops. A lot of them shut at nine because this is a Sunday, but you know what is open? The tourist shop. So I'm going to go in the tourist shops. Oh, that is fashion. I love fashion. Now because Formula One is coming soon, we've got all the Formula One merch here. So let's show you a few of these things and we'll be seeing a lot of this, I think, over the next few days in Vegas. you've got playing cards that have actually been used in the casinos so you can see the different like casinos here you know you've got the golden gate you've got the grand the strat cosmopolitan tropicana like all of like the hotels which i think is really cool in the casinos and stuff you can get playing cards that were played in there Now we're in 
Caesar's Palace, well, the Caesar's Palace, we're in Caesar's Palace, but we're in the Caesar's Palace shop with lots of Caesar's Palace things that are very, very um, fun. I do, I do like them. Um, and then also, because we're opposite Hell's Kitchen as well, we've got Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay merch too. And then Caesar's Palace, lots of good magnets. There have been a lot of good magnets and more Caesar's Palace merch as well. Conservatory, conservatory, um, but it is really, really nice in here. You can get some really great pictures. Just be aware that there are a lot of other people, like a lot. But yeah, the Bellagio Conservatory is pretty, pretty cool. May only be September, but there is a full Christmas shop here in the Bellagio, so there are lots of really good Christmas decorations, which you can see here. Um, yeah, there is a lot. You're not. You, you can pretty much get everything you need in terms of Christmas decorations right here. It's a pretty big shop as well, like to have just Christmas decorations. I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, that'd be super, super cool. Um, I'll be doing more vlogs from Las Vegas. You can also check out my other California vlogs. I went to Disneyland, I went to San Diego, I went to Santa Monica and it was really fun. So you can check out those vlogs as well if you'd like to, that'd be really awesome. And yeah, make sure you stay tuned for more Las Vegas vlogs.